Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about the reduction of pedestal in gate circuits. So in the previous video I have explained you what do you mean by a pedestal. Pedestal is nothing but when you are applying a sinusoidal signal, that sinusoidal signal is superimposed on the control signal. Because generally we need two signals, one is the control signal, another one is the input signal which we want to transmit through the sampling gate. When the control signal is having the time period for which the transistor is in on state exactly in that duration see here in this particular duration the transistor let the transistor whatever it is is that is going to be transmitted the signal from here to here this is the gating pulse width tg in this duration the input signal will be transmitted to the output this is the situation now the output signal see when the transistor is said to be in off state the output is VCC. The output is VCC. When transistor is in on state, the input will be transmitted to the output. Okay. When transistor P is in off state, output is equal to VCC because the output across capacitor we are taking collect uh, across collector we are taking collector to emitter is nothing but something like a maximum voltage which is applied in that path which is plus VCC. And when the transistor is in on state output is equal to the input when transistor is in on state means when the gating pulse is applied exactly in this particular duration tg okay so in this duration the input will be transmitted to the output but here see the output is plus vcc here and here but whereas in the remaining case it will be coming down to a normal level like the sinusoidal signal and again it goes to the VCC after the gating pulse. It again goes back to the normal state where the transistor is in off state. There is a large difference between this VCC and the sinusoidal signal if we are having a less amplitude input signal. That's why we should definitely reduce this pedestal in the output gating circuit because this much of variation is not at all required. What we need is only the input signal has to be transmitted in this particular duration TG. Okay, so for that we are making one arrangement like we are taking two transistor circuit where we are applying one control signal, two control signals on either of the transistors like this. One is with the plus minus VC and another one is minus plus VC. It is minus and this one is plus VC. Okay, so plus minus VC that means one transistor Q1 is applied with the positive control signal whereas the uh, transistor q2 is applied with negative control signal the purpose of this one is to cancel the control signal at the output because control signal is in no way required at the output okay we need only the sampling signal see suppose the control signal is in positive peak the control signal is in positive peak then the input transistor input of this base of the transistor q1 is in positive signal so that q1 is in on state q1 is in on state exactly at the same time we are applying the control signal which is negative to the q2 base that makes the transistor q2 off so these two transistor will operate in push pull configuration when q1 is in on state q2 is in off state when Q1 is in on state, Q2 is in off state. So when this particular transistor is in on state, the input will be transmitted to the output and there is no impact on the, there is no impact of control signal on the output because exactly at the same time we are giving the minus VC to the other transistor. Okay. If you see the on off conditions of the transistor, similarly Q1 when the input signal for the control signal is a negative peak like uh, this V2 then Q1 is said to be in off state opposite is the case with respect to the Q2 Q2 is in on state then the case is altered but the output will be unaltered output will be sinusoidal signal when Q1 is in on state but when Q2 is in on state there is no output because output is normally we will be having whatever the input signal you are giving the same signal will be there and the remaining voltage it is like this it is like this okay previously there is a sudden gap there is a large deviation between the output and input voltages 
see here this is the gate on for q1 and this is the time period gate on for q2 okay exactly during this transmission period we are having the output voltage like this because in the remaining cases either of trans either of the transistor is in on state so gating waveform with non zero rise time and spikes that occur in the output due to the above waveform now see this is after reduction of after reduction of pedestal after reduction of the pedestal so once the circuit is able to remove the pedestal then there is no deviation there is no large gap between the output voltage and the input signal which is going to be transmitted to the output so the circuit what we have shown here with respect to two transistors is used to eliminate the pedestal with of course it is having few drawbacks okay i will write what are the drawbacks that this circuit has the circuit is the circuit eliminates the circuits eliminates the pedestal eliminates the pedestal with the following drawbacks with the following drawbacks one is if the gating waveforms have defined rise and fall times if the gating waveforms have defined rise and fall times rise and fall times two sharp spikes are generated at the output two sharp spikes generated at the output so what happens if the gating waveforms gating waveforms have defined rise and fall times rise and fall times two sharp spikes generated the output this can be treated as an output treated, treated as a drawback because if you are having zero rise time and zero fall time then there is no generation of spikes at the output but because of the existence of some value like a uh, few nanoseconds of rise and fall times at that time we will be having that uh, rise and fall times as we have seen here see this is the finite rise time and fall times in exactly in this particular duration we will be having some spikes in the output this is not required generally and next there is a continuous flow of there is a continuous flow of current flow there is a continuous flow of current flow through rc through rc and it has to dissipate and it has to dissipate a lot of heat a lot of heat see in the previous video i have given you the circuit diagram later it will be modified there we have used one transistor circuit and later we have used two transistors for making the transmission from input to the output with the gating pulse and now we have seen a transistorized model where it is having two transistors as it is but with two control signals one with positive and negative though these two collectors are coupled together through an rc so what is the problem here is when we are having the uh, either of the transistors is in non state definitely there will be a continuous flow of current ic from vcc through rc okay so there is a continuous flow of current through rc so it has a 
it has to dissipate lot of current continuously you see if q1 is in on state q2 is in off state then what is the flow of current it is the flow of current like this if the case is altered like if it is in off state and it is in on state then the current will be flowing like this continuously there will be a flow of current through either of these two transistors either q1 or q2 so definitely some heat dissipation is there because the current continuously flows through the rc so definitely heat is dissipating because of that and next third one the circuit is complicated the circuit is complicated it requires two bias voltages it requires two bias voltages it requires two bias voltages that is how many bias voltages we have used two bias voltages they are vbb1 and vbb2 provided these two must be negative so go to the circuit diagram see here properly we are using two negative biasing supplies here and here okay these are the two negative biasing supplies which are used to set the fusion point of the transistor and two control signal or sources and two control signal sources which are complements of each other which are complements of each other which are complements of each other so the circuit is complicated because we are we are giving total how many voltages two biasing supplies and two control signals and one original input signal that needs to be transmitted so that's why it is complicated and it requires these are the voltages which are complements to each other okay so this is the way how to reduce the pedestal in the gate circuit by applying two control signals okay thank you